Yo guys, Kirk here, and it's that time again for another one of my long-term reviews. This time, it's with the Google Pixel XL, so let's check it out. Starting right off with the build of the Pixel XL, it's a solid piece of aluminum with a glass window on the back. The chamfered edges feel nice in the hand and add some good grip to the phone. The Pixel XL has a little heft to it, which I like because it helps me to think that I'm really getting something solid for my money. Moving to the bottom is where we have the downfiring speaker, which comes out of the left side, not both sides. The speaker is fairly loud and will do the job, but it's a far cry from something like an Axon 7 or even the stereo speakers on an iPhone 7. Right in the center is that reversible goodness with the USB-C charging port. Moving to the side is the power button and below this is the volume rocker. The power button is textured, which I've really became a big fan of. Just a little texture like this helps me to keep accurate with my button presses every time. The buttons are very tactile and clicky, which is awesome because I absolutely hate mushy buttons. Finally moving to the top is the headphone jack. The overall footprint of the Pixel XL is big, but not too big. I find it very comfortable in the hand and is much more manageable than last year's Nexus 6P. Let's go ahead and get the specs right out of the way. The Pixel XL is sporting a 5.5 inch 2560x1440p AMOLED display, which gets very bright and has some amazing colors. The guts include a Snapdragon 821 processor, an Adreno 530 GPU, 4GB of RAM, and your choice of 32 or 128GB of storage. All this is powered by a 3450mAh battery. Since using the Pixel XL as my personal phone since last November, these last three months have gone by very smoothly. Running Android 7.1.1, the Pixel XL is the first and farthest along out of any other Android phone out there when it comes down to updates. The new Pixel launcher swiping app drawer style took a bit for me to get used to, but now it's really like second nature. The OS is stupid fast and I haven't experienced any hiccups or stutters yet. Android 7.1.1 is a joy to use every day and the Google Assistant has come in handy occasionally. I honestly forget that it's there sometimes, but its ability to be conversational and understand context clues is truly amazing. Moving to battery life, this is always one of my most important aspects of any good phone for me. And I can say without any hesitations that this is the best battery life that I have ever experienced. I charge the Pixel in the morning, which only takes about 40 minutes to go from 0 to 100%. The phone lasts the entire day, as well as the night, and when I wake up, I still have about 30% left. I know this great battery life is because of Android 7.1.1, so as other phones get updated, their battery life should improve as well. But for right now, hot damn is all I gotta say. Now taking a look at the camera, the Pixel and the Pixel XL both received DxO mark ratings of 89, which in November was the highest rating of any smartphone ever. So when I started using my Pixel XL, I tried to ignore and forget about the hype caused by this since I've had $400 phones with better cameras than some $700 ones. So keeping that in mind, I'll tell you that I fell in love with this camera. The software is simple and quick and the HDR plus mode is just pure gold. Photos look fantastic, even in harsh lighting situations. The 12.3 megapixel rear camera uses phase detection and laser autofocus to produce some excellent shots. The 8 megapixel front camera performs great as well, and I like the screen flash when taking a selfie. But now to video. The rear camera is capable of recording 4K with 30fps, 1080p with 120fps, and 720 with 240fps. Video stays nice and steady due to its built-in gyroscope. This is really my favorite smartphone camera that I've ever experienced. So conclusion time. After the last three months, I have no plans to make any other phone my daily driver, with its excellent build quality even if the design is a very subjective one. Amazing software that rivals the speed and fluidity of iOS, the best battery life I've ever experienced, and a camera that I can trust to be ready in any situation I get myself into. The Pixel XL is a no-brainer in my book. If you're looking for an Android phone, then this is the one you should be buying. Let me know what you guys think about the Pixel XL in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe and join the Tech Edge family. And as always guys, I will see you later.